Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Infinite Fusion playthrough. Last episode we went ahead and became the champion of the Kanto region, which is obviously amazing, but that does not mean this playthrough is over. In fact, we have a whole other region to go ahead and go through, and that means, of course, we need a brand new team, okay? So I have ourselves some lovely Johto starters, which we might be putting on the team depending on how good they fuse. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and fuse those right at the start. Uh, obviously we're going to a new region, and the way we get there is we're not going to go ahead and walk over here like I thought. We're not going to go through Victory Road or anything like that. We actually have already been to the other region, and I did forget about this. We went and took the train in Saffron. So we're going to start this episode with a little bit of fusing, uh, because I am very curious to see what the Johto stars fuse like. I've seen the other stars fuse pretty well together, and I do also have a brand new team that I've gone ahead and already fused over this past, like, two weeks, where it's been Christmas and the New Year. Happy New Year to everyone, by the way. And... They're pretty good. It's a pretty good team. I think it's better than the last team, and the last team was impressive. So, the first thing we're doing is, honestly, why am I even coming into this box? We have ourselves our fusing materials, we have the free Pokemon we need to fuse on us. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fuse these beautiful Pokemon together, known as the Johto Starters. So, how do we want to start this? Uh, what's the order in the Pokedex? Meganium? Typhlosion? I think that's what we're going with. I think we're going to go Meganium Typhlosion. We have the DNA Reverser to go ahead and flip it back round. Let's go and see some custom sprites. That's how we're going to start this off. It's going to look horrible. I don't see how these two fuse. It's just going to be a burning plant. Oh. Oh. Typhnium. That's not a burning plant. It's just straight up fire. You know, Meganium was killed in the process. <laughs> Meganium just became a volcano. And you know, honestly, maybe that's fine. I do like Typhlosion's lava plume. It just got bigger. It can hide behind a shimmering heat haze that it creates using its intense flames. In battle, it gives off more of its becalming scent. Becalming scent? This thing is not calming to look at. This thing looks like it's going to eat my head off and, and cook me thoroughly beforehand. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. We are, however, definitely going to reverse it the other way around and see if it's a flowery Typhlosion. Because that sounds so stupid, and I need to see it. Obviously, we're not going to land any of these moves because we don't really care too much, uh, as we're just going to go ahead and flip it around anyway with this beautiful DNA Reverser. So, Typhnium, reverse. Reverse, reverse. I want to see a flowery Typhlosion. I still see fire. I can tell that fire a mile away, it's on its back. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> is, is this what shiny Typhlosion's gonna look like in the future? Because I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready for Mega Lotion. Is this Mega Typhlosion? Mega Lotion? Mega Typhlosion. Obviously we don't have to go through all the moves and stuff and we don't get the Pokedex entry because it's probably the same. Uh, I do have one look at it for a little bit longer. I kind of like the fire. Right? I kind of like that. That's a nice color. It's face? It's face on the other hand. It's got like a Pac-Man vibe to it. It looks like it should be in a Pac-Man game, okay? It's good, but not fitting for the Pokemon. Definitely not fitting for the Pokemon. That looks absolutely wild and no. <laughs> Definitely not. However, that's just the start of many. Next up on the list, I guess we'll go with my Meganium for Alligator and keep with this order. What is that? What is that silhouette? That looks like chaos. I'm ready for chaos. Show me chaos. I need to start this new year with chaos. I'm afraid. Oh my god, I love it actually. Wait, it's got fire on its back? But Typhlosion wasn't included. This is just Meganium for Alligator. I guess that's Ferranthia's tail effect. Ferranium. This is a... I like this. I like this. The Herb Jaw Pokemon. It opens its huge mouth to intimidate enemies. I'm intimidated, I'll be honest. And Bal gives off more of its becalming scent to blunt the foe's fighting spirit. You know, that's actually kind of sensible. You know, it intimidates and calms at the same time. I'm not entirely sure how that works. But this Pokemon's got it figured out. And I'm sure that it's a powerful technique if used right. Maybe it's like one and then immediately to the other to also add confusion. Try to learn Surf. Is that because I taught it the HM Surf? Probably. I don't think it normally learns Surf. But, oh well. Uh, we are, however, gonna reverse it. 
I feel like that's that's a good one. I do feel like that's a pretty good one. I have no idea if the reverse is going to be any good. Is that... I like that. I like the Herb Jewel Pokemon. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's on his back legs because of Feraligatr. I'm scared. I'm scared. See, that, it's got the flowers, right? That makes sense. That makes sense for the Pokemon. It's terrifying. And it it looks so, so incredibly weird and... and its face. It's just its face. I don't know why it has that face. Meganium's face should not be put onto any other Pokemon. That's what we're learning. But we'll go ahead. We'll unfuse. And we'll go ahead and go with the last pairing of Typhlosion and Feraligatr. Honestly, in terms of typing, I feel like Fire Water is better. We'll see. Prove me right, game. I'm ready for it. Prove me right. <laughs> I was not proven right. I, I was not proven right in the slightest. What am I looking at? What, what kind of neck problems does this poor Pokemon have? How, how does it neck? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Volcano Jaw Pokemon. It can spew a volcano out of its mouth. Powerful. Powerful. It does have some neck problems, though. Um, Ferrolotion create blazing explosive blasts that burn everything to cinders. Okay. Okay. The other ones didn't sound quite so threatening, because they had Meganium's like, oh, it just goes ahead and, you know, reduces some pollen, you know, it gives out a scent. This, this is just here to, to destroy everything. That's what it's here for. Uh, but we are going to go ahead, we're going to reverse the other way around to finish this up, and then we'll go ahead and reveal the team. The team. There is not a single Pokemon that I have kept the same on the team, by the way. That's a lie, actually. I kept Sassian, but, you know, Sassian's powerful. But the final Pokemon here is... Ooh. 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 <laughs> I don't like that one. I do not like that one. Okay. Briefly going over that one, because uh, that's a weird Pokemon right there. Uh, what we're going to do? I'm going to actually unfuse that real quick, just so we have all of our Johto starters again. I think the best was def definitely um, Meganium for Alligator. The Herb Jaw Pokemon. That was definitely my favorite. But, we have other Pokemon to show, because this past week, alongside all of your generic Christmas and New Year stuff that I got done, I did fuse some Pokemon, and they are some beautiful Pokemon. And I also used a very special Pokeball that we hadn't used for a while. But first things first, the Pokemon that I'm keeping on the team, I'm keeping Zacian, because to be honest, we got this pretty recently, uh, we haven't used it all that much. And it's definitely my favorite fusion so far. Uh, I'm also going to keep Amphitar, I think. Because I was considering swapping Amphitar out if there was a really good Johto starter that I liked the look of. If the Herb Jewel Pokemon, for example, I keep referring it to that. It's just Meganium Braligator. Why do I keep calling it the Herb Jewel Pokemon? But if that was better than Amphitar, I would have replaced Amphitar with that. Honestly, after looking at it, I don't know. And we also had Luo just for Fly. Because uh, I don't think any of our other Pokemon are going to get Fly. But first up... Psytops. Not exactly new, right? Not exactly new, but we didn't use it, okay? So it's a new member to the team. That's the, the boring one out of the way, okay? It's the boring member of the team, but it's needed nonetheless. Next up is Glove War. Now, I honestly didn't think I was ever going to get rid of Ninetales Gardevoir, okay? I really didn't. But I finally went ahead and evolved all the evolutions. I've used all the evolutions for a bunch of stuff over the holidays. It took me a while, right? It did take me a while to finally get to it. But Glaceon God of War was by far my favorite. Ice Fairy as well is a typing that I need. <laughs> I need that typing. It's such a cool typing and it's such a cool looking Pokemon. It's got a real nice little snow effect around it as well. It's a good Pokemon. Uh, we also <laughs> have Chaos. Chaos the Pokemon itself with Zapdos Metagross, which for some reason fused like this? I don't entirely understand. It's like a shiny Metagross and a shiny Zapdos fused together with its own like little ball spirits of laser beam destruction on the side, or at least that's how I like to imagine it. So this thing is Chaos. Um, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, right? I. I have no idea what's going on in this sprite. It's so chaotic and beautiful that I had to put it on the team, okay? I, I found it and I was like, right, done. And finally, last but not least, I caught this. 
Umbreon and Aegislash. This was caught, by the way, while I was quickly running around. Um, this might just be the coolest looking Aegislash thing I have ever seen in my life. The colors on this are so perfect for a sword. And not only that, it was caught in a glitter ball. And while its appearance hasn't changed, uh, this is still a normal Umbreon, not a shiny Umbreon, and a normal Egg Slash, not a, sh not a shiny Egg Slash. I think it has an effect when it's sent into battle. So I'm going to make sure that this is in the front of the party. Uh, obviously levels are a little bit all over the place because they've just been fused together and whatnot. But I think when we send this out, we get to finally see the Glitter Ball's effect. So with all of that out of the way, the new team is here, the new region is here, the new year is here. <laughs> <laughs> conveniently. I like how all of those lined up, and we are ready to go ahead and take ourselves a train trip. Uh, I think we already have the tickets, we just speak to this guy. Yep, we're going straight to Golden Rod City. I don't think there's any real order to what way we have to do the gyms in this region, or at least I hope there isn't, because I want to go and thrash Whitney. Uh, that's what I would like to do. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but honestly, we have to go and test. If I can go and thrash Whitney right now, I'll be very happy. Can I? You're already the champion and you still won't stop? <laughs> Truly, I admire you. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Whitney uses psychic type Pokemon. Oh. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Um, thankfully, we're leading off of a dark type. It is level 32, don't worry, I know that. We're leading off of a level 32 dark type. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I genuinely just want to see if it shines. But don't lower your guard, she's a fierce opponent. Take this. Fresh water, that'll help me. That'll help me. Are you gonna battle me? If you can't answer the quiz, you'll have to fight me to open the gate. Pay close attention. Count. The six Pokemon. Did I need to know something in particular? Oh no. How many Pokemon did you see? Six. Six. But I kind of want to fight her. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I want to fight her, so I'm going to get it wrong and say five. Wrong, prepared fight. That's fine. You're a cute little trainer, I like you, but I won't hold back. Good, because I want to fight and see what the Glitter Ball does. That's what I'm here for. Alright, the gym challenge, getting to Whitney, that can wait. I'm here... <laughs> I'm here to fight your Squirtang, right? And send out this. Oh, so it keeps its normal appearance, but gives the shiny effect. I'm not gonna lie, I am absolutely okay with that, because this Pokemon looks great. <gasps> we also have a golden name. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. I love this thing. This thing's our new star, okay? It's our new star, but we're gonna go into Zapgross, and uh, bring out Chaos itself to fight this Matang, because this poor thing doesn't know what's gonna hit it. It just doesn't know what's gonna hit it. This poor, poor thing. It did get the attack buff, though. Okay, calm down, calm down. I don't have Thunderbolt. Well, that's awkward. I guess we're just gonna Psychic? That's resisted, I know, but... That's decent damage. It's decent. Uh, next thing I need to do is make sure our Pokémon have TMs. Because I haven't done that yet, and that'd be a good idea. As beautiful as these Pokemon are, they're lacking in the move department, that's for sure. But that won't be for long. Guard a trio. I'm ready to see a Guard of War face off. First we'll have our Metagross kind of face off, now we'll have our Guard of War face off. Sure, sure. I think we lose. I, th <laughs> I think we've lost. I think that's much more beautiful. Damn, we messed up. Uh, can an Ice Beam take it out? We get our Sped, this Dug Trio. Isn't Ice Beam enough? Also, this one says very similar to our old set. It's got Calm Mind, and it's got three attacking moves. It's a very similar set. Works out pretty well, though. And to Mew Dower. Hmm. Calm Dower is primary dark type, right? So it's going to be a Psychic and Fire type. I don't have a Water type move on Psytops. This, this is unfortunate. My team needs uh, a little bit of work in the move department. Don't know if I mentioned that. That's definitely something we're going to work on quickly. But Mewtower, oh. Oh. 
Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like it gets bought by an earthquake. Level 39. I suppose we could have came here earlier? Or was the was the gym blocked off earlier? It might have been. It might have been blocked off earlier. I feel very strangely confident in just rushing to a gym leader in the first episode back. Is that weird? Is that too much? Is that too much speed? I don't know. Are we going to lead with Gravor? Just because. Why not? And we're going to try and possibly count? I don't know. Pay close attention. We'll try and get this one right. Count. Three. Seven. Nine. I hope you didn't need to know a certain amount of each Pokemon, because I wasn't counting that. And I realize that now. How many Pichu did you see? Oh no. I didn't. I... Oh no. Three or four? Let's go with three. Three's a lucky number, okay? Three is a lucky number for a lot of people. Oh, okay, alright. I'm. That was a bit of a guess. I know it was three or four, but that was a bit of a guess. This is a double battle if I get this wrong. Hold on while I prepare. Uh... <laughs> Let's just put Amputar as a backup. Amputar's a nice backup, and this is probably where I get something wrong. Not intentionally. Let's see. Pay close attention. Hell. Uh, one Togetic, two Cleffa, two Igglybuff, a Natu, a Togepi. That looks like eight Pokemon total, or seven? Oh no. Don't ask for a total. How many different kinds of Pokemon did you see? Four? There was a Natu, there was a Togetic. Yeah, four. Wrong. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I told you how to get it wrong. I was just making sure, you know? I. Okay. A lot to? There's a powerful psychic type right there, I'm afraid. I am afraid. I think an ice beam still KOs though. Well, now it doesn't. Okay, we're setting up, I see. Do it again. Set up again. I dare you. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. We we apparently don't mess around. Um Alright. Stab Ice Beam. Gotcha. Wobbian. That's a Wobbuffet. That is a Wobbuffet. I do not enjoy Wobbuffet. Do you have any like crazy status things you have screech? Double fight too, huh? It is level 32. Screech would be really useful, but it is level 32. You have Night Slash and Fury Cut. Should we just spam Fury Cut? Is that dumb? That's pretty dumb. Let's do it. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong with spamming Fury Cut or against a Wombuffet that can definitely bop us back? The secondary typing of Ledian was not something I considered right here. You know what? Maybe it's got Ledian's defense, and I'm completely over worrying this. Let's just Night Slash and see if we one shot. Oh no. Mitch. Bobbuffet? Bobbuffet, you're a punching bag. You're not meant to move. Uh. Baton. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, that was such a good strategy until you went into this. It was such. A good strategy until you went into a secondary Wobbuffet. It still outspeeds, but you poor, poor thing. You just don't know how things work. It just. It looked like it was trying to like poop out a baby there as well, with that baby little. the little tag on the end of Wobbuffet's tail. That just. This whole thing is messed up. This whole thing is messed up. These poor Wobbuffet trainers just getting absolutely bopped. If they just went for counter. If only they knew. The true power of Wobbuffet. that. Okay, my turn. No. No, it's not your turn. Go do this. Namer? What, a, what an ordinary name. <laughs> huh. Okay. Uh, so it's Psychic and Poison? That's kind of inconvenient. I mean... Ice Beam is still our strongest move. The Psychic isn't super effective anymore. Oh. Then again, it is a Natu Grimer. They don't exactly have the best defense in the world. Maybe I was, uh... 
a little bit afraid for no reason. And then we get to face Whitney. First episode back, by the way. <laughs> this is, uh, moving forward at a real pace. Let's start. Was that gross? I'm not even gonna heal. Our team is such a mixed match of levels and stuff. Let's just go into it and see what happens. Hi, my name is Whitney. I'm the new gym leader here in Golden Rush City. I specialize in psychic type Pokemon. This is actually my very first battle as a gym leader, but don't worry. We'll go easy on you since this is also your first gym badge. Do we tell her? Let's not tell her. What's that? You already have some badges from the Kanto region. No. No. No, not me. No. Well, then I'm going all out. You better prepare yourself. Wait, if I'd come here before becoming the champion, would the fight be different? I don't think we could. I'm pretty sure we did check. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. Memory's a little bit hazy. You know, stop since then. Uh, Drow Lax, level 55. I didn't put Thunderbolt in this Pokemon. Yeah, that's my own bad. Um, we're gonna beat your match then. It's not Stab, because we're an electric psychic type, actually. Psychic shouldn't do too much, though, so I mean, we're, we're good, we're good. Uh, Snorlax is pretty scary. Drowsy isn't too scary. Combined? Oh, that's kind of scary, though. Crunch, on the other hand, is kind of scary. You want to not do that? That'd be great. If you could just not do that. Full Restore. Mmm. Mmm. No, I don't appreciate that. No, no, I don't want you to fill his tummy. Okay, his tummy's big enough, it doesn't need extra food. Uh, please stop. Let's go into Cytops. It has a Night Slash. Admittedly, it's not boosted by Technician, sadly, but it's still decent. We could start spamming Fury Car. We know this is a Psychic type gem. I can't resist, okay? I can't resist. Technician boosted Fury Car. Let's go. Two damage. Oh, that looked like a solid four. Nasty plot. I have my own setup, okay? You will not stop me, Drowlax. That was so close. Okay, okay, we live. A special defense falls, but honestly, we're not living a hit from here anyway. Fury Car. Full restore, go ahead. Feed that belly even more. We're gonna cut that belly open, alright? Half health, not bad. We're just stacking damage at this point. Gone. Gone. Destroyed. Cut into pieces like a poor little ribbon. About to send in Slow Gross. Slow and Gross? That's a horrible name for your Pokemon. Why would you call it that? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I kind of love it. I kind of love it. Wait. I want 100 on my doorstep right now. I don't think this is going to one-shot. It doesn't even get close. Camera arm, can we live that? No, no. I thought maybe our physical defense would be enough. I mean, we're Scissor and Kabutops, but... Super effective. I'm sad that the Fury Cut strat didn't work. I am very sad. I thought for sure it would work. I don't know how they possibly beat it. If we were level like 59, like the rest of our team, I think we would have been fine. And that's wild. Uh, now we're gonna Dragon Dance Bamfi Tar and win. Go ahead. Slap me with a hammer arm or something. I accept the hammer arm. Nothing. We eat that. We have chubby cheeks for a reason. We can fit the whole fist in our mouths, okay? Crunch. That's it, we're returning the bite. We're biting the fist that you just used. Unfortunate, I don't like how that all worked out so well. <laughs> that, that whole thing works really, really conveniently. What is that? You, you, Mew? That one, Cubone. Wait. Cubone's skull? The skull that Cubone wears on its head is actually a giant Mew? Not the case at all, but I kind of like that idea. That would also mean that me and you still live just plentifully, and that's a little bit weird. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't like that idea. Why ends? Staying in? We're just gonna crunch for your entire team? I don't like that look you're giving me. I, I don't like the, the fact that I'm fighting the emoji Pokemon right now. Get this thing out of here. The emoji Pokemon gets bopped, as it should be. And last but not least, we have Gig Gigazam. I want to call it Giga Kazam. I want that to be its name. Why is it not Giga Kazam? I know what Kazam is. It's Alexam. What is Gig? G I G I
Is it bad that the only word that I can think that starts with G-I at the very start is a short word? It's just the simple word girl. That's the only word I can think of. Why can I not think of this Pokemon? All I can think is Giga. What is Giga? What is Giga Kazam? Oh, Gibble! I'm not gonna lie, I totally forgot that was in this game. I am just full on like Kanto and Johto mode right now. But what am I looking at? It's kind of beautiful. It's level 60. Setting up a calm mind in the face of a chubby cheeks biter right here. You poor thing. You poor, poor thing. You didn't take us seriously because we have chubby cheeks. Disappointing. Wow, you're mean. You shouldn't be so serious. I put a lot of effort into that. Wow, okay, you should appreciate it. Ugh, I lost my first battle as a gym leader. It's not fair. Anyway, now I guess I have to give you this badge. Take it. You now have this TM2, I guess. Gym 98 Baton Pass. That was used in this gym. I'll take it. Okay, accepted. Who would have thought I'd be facing off against the Pokemon League champion for my first battle as a gym leader? It's actually a crazy story to tell. It's no wonder that I lost. I like the fact that she gave us our badge though, like nice and timely. Didn't have to go and run around before she gave us the badge. That's appreciated. So can we pick up the beautiful, beautiful Squirtle? La la la, la 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 la. Plants need plenty of sunlight to grow healthy. That's not Squirtle. You want my squirt ball to water the tree on Route 36? Kinda. But then I won't have anything to water my plants with. If you can visit my sister in Violet City, she should have a spare pair. I'm sure she won't mind lending it to you for a bit. Hmm. Okay, a little bit different, a little bit different. We're swapping things up. I, I kinda like that. So I suppose the next course of action really is gonna be to head south to Violet City? This feels so backwards and weird. Uh, first and first though, we should probably go and heal up, and maybe do a little quick check that we're not missing anything. Actually, I don't even know how we would check if we're not missing anything. I'm just gonna assume we're not missing anything. Uh, where's the Pokemon Center? There it is. Okay. So with this, we heal up, we go back to Violet City, which means that we also go back through Azalea Forest? We have a poke again. We can double check this. It's been a while since I've been through the Johto region, actually. It has been a little while. But we go back through... Why am I doing this? Wait a second. We have a poke again. We don't have a poke again. I'm so stuck on poke kiss because we're in Johto. I, I come to Johto, my mind's it. It's freshly reset. I just assume we're in Johto now. Uh, I suppose I was using fly beforehand, right? And that's why I'm not exactly seeing a map or anything. I'm sure I picked up the map. I did. I'm just really blind. Okay. So, we're gonna go back here. We're gonna go to Azalea Town. We're gonna go all the way back through Route 32. This feels so backwards because we need to destroy the tree in order to get up into Ecrotique and fight Morty and his Gengar squad, which won't be Gengar squads. That's really weird and really backwards, but I guess let's just go ahead. Ooh. First, I see an item back up there. How do I get into your yard, ma'am? There's an egg here. This is very clear thievery. And I like that. <laughs> we received the Pokemon egg. I will make sure to hatch that off screen. And I guess the way that we get this is up here? Ah. Looks like we'll battle you. Me? I'm not doing anything suspicious. Go away. Neither am I, my dude. Neither am I. We're definitely not doing anything suspicious, like stealing eggs from the daycare. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? That would be very weird. It's a good thing we're not doing that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I do need to make sure that I give this Pokemon Thunderbolt and probably Earthquake. I think Earthquake would be a good addition to Zapdos as well. And I kind of want to rename this thing to Chaos. I don't really like having Gross in its name. Metagross I've kind of come to terms with, you know, I've seen the name so much that it doesn't bother me anymore. But Zapgross just feels like an insult. <laughs> and I don't really want that. Uh, we can just go into Amphigar to clean this dude up real quick. I'll get the team trained up for sure by next episode, it's just, you know, New Year's stuff. It's taking a little while. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna crunch you, should do decent damage. Yeah, Dustclops is defend- oh, we get a crit as well. This poor, poor thing. This poor, happy little thing. 
So is... I'm out of here. Money? Money! Ooh, and the item we get is a Scorch Ball, which I believe just burns the target uh, when we try and throw a Pokeball at them. That's pretty nice. But what Pokemon do we have in this region? Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you telling me that the Pokemon are the same three regions? Do we need to re-randomize the Pokemon in the Wild Grass? Is that what we need to do? Let's just test one more. Okay, I want to see a different Pokemon other than Licky Lotion. We saw Licky Lotion before. Admittedly, we saw it on the route leading to Victory Road, which might have actually been classed as Johto region. But I don't want to see a bunch of Licky Lotion everywhere we go. I'd rather re-randomize all of the wild Pokemon and see some new stuff when we go through the grass, so that the grass isn't quite as tedious. Like Marola, that is different. That is different. I don't know if you want to randomize them up. Um, why are his hands... Its hands are on the wrong sides. It's... <laughs> what? Its left hand is on the right and its right hand is on the left. They should be the other way around, surely. This poor, poor Pokemon. What has happened to you in your fusion? You've just been, like, whipped up into a, into a ball and your hands have been... This formed and this poor, poor Pokemon. And Psybomb, that is also different. Looks like I don't need to re-randomize after all. Okay, all right. With that all checked and stuff, I think this is a good place to go ahead and round up this episode. It's a nice first episode back. We got a whole gym battle done. We got a new team shown. We have ourselves a beautiful, I have to say this again, but we have ourselves an absolutely beautiful Glitter Ball um, Slash. I really, really like the look of this Pokemon. I really like this Pokemon. This is such a good looking Pokemon. It's also a dark ghost type, which is so good. Either way, with that all said and done, if you guys have enjoyed this first episode back, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, I've got further ado. Bye!